Hey guys. Okay, so we're going to skip the look at a Miss Jamie part of the video just because I feel like when we do the craft, that's so much more interesting than my face. <laughs> so, for this week's family story time, it's the first story, it's the first family night of the month, so we did story time. I read um one of my all-time absolute favorite books, Armadillo Tattletale. You should check out the video for it if you haven't already. It's pretty fun. And so we're going to make these really super cute armadillos. Now, your take and make bag comes in the create bag, and you can pick this up curbside or front desk anytime Monday the 4th, 5th through Saturday the 10th. I think in every other video I have said the 4th, but the 4th was yesterday. It's okay. And everything that you need to make the cutest little armadillo in the world is inside of your bag. So let's take a look and see what we've got. You get instruction sheets that do highlight Armadillo Tattletail because it's one of my favorites. Um, and this one is one of those really fun, super easy crafts where you've got your Armadillo base and you've got scrap pieces of paper and you get to put it together however you want to. These are fun for Miss Jamie. I like these. You even get to tear your pieces up yourself. And you can do the whole Armadillo or you can just do like what Miss Annie did here and just do the like shell portion of the armadillo. It's entirely up to you. I think I'm going to bring in some of these turquoise colors and the orange and maybe a little pink and some yellow. Okay. And you can do that. You can pick and choose your colors or you can just use all of it. Best thing about this kind of thing is that there's no wrong way to do it. So I'm going to make my blue pieces kind of small by cutting, tearing them in half and then tearing them into smaller pieces. Um, and you can do this where you tear it and glue it and tear it and glue it and tear it and glue it. Or you can tear up a whole little pile. Maybe not all of your paper, so you can use it for something else. And then, but, you know, tear it up, tear up a nice little starter point and then, um, and then glue them all down. And you can, I have seen, we do a lot of this kind of craft when we're together for story time. And there are so many ways you can do this. You can glue each piece individually that's fine or you can which is probably what Miss Jamie's going to do is put a whole bunch of glue down and then glue stuff down and then if you need things on top do some um, do some individual additional pieces so this is actually, I think this is the fun part where you get to rip and tear things into smaller pieces because usually you're told not to do that. <laughs> I guess I was always told not to do that. <laughs> Hi, there we go. Okay, that should be enough for my armadillo. But we'll see if I get it glued down and I think that's not enough. We can always tear up some more pieces of paper. So... Let's go ahead and I am going to put in some glue. And depending on the sticky state of your glue, you might need to do this more than once. And you can do patterns, you can do hit and miss, just whatever you pick up. There's no wrong way to do this. It's one of the best things about crafting is that you're in charge and it gets to look however it is that you want it to look. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, yeah, this chicken wants to mix it up a little bit. We're gonna just fill our armadillo with um, cute little pieces of paper. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some video TV magic and I am going to pause the video and then finish the armadillo and then when you come back to see it it'll be like zero time passed at all and miss jamie is just magnificent um but in reality it's been like five minutes because it's going to take me a couple of minutes and nobody really really wants to listen to miss jamie ramble on and on and on and on and on for that long see it's so boring okay so give me just a minute and i will be right back Okay, so there we go. My armadillo is all mosaic in, real nice like. I think I am going to fill in some spaces with a little bit of 
um, individualized on top of the other pieces overlapping, which is fine. You can do that, or you can say, well, I'm done. I'm not going to do any more. Nothing wrong with either approach. Um, sometimes I just, it's a nice way to mix in some extra color. If your glue sticks to the paper and not your fingers. I'm having trouble with that today. So, like I said, just a few last touches. With a little bit of glue and some, oh, maybe. Jeez, Miss Jamie is having a lot of trouble today. There we go. Okay. So, and like I said, I got some leftover pieces, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. We will use them for something else down the road. Okay. Let's see. I've got markers here next to me, so let's add in an eyeball so he can see. A real eyeball. I might even give him a little bit of a smile. And I'll give him some like pink inner ears. Because we can. <laughs> Could even, if we really wanted to, give him like toenails. There. So, cute little armadillos. Make sure that you, excuse me, pick up your take and make anytime Monday through Sunday. Not Sunday, we're not open on Sundays. Monday through Saturday. And enjoy making what has to be the world's cutest armadillo. <laughs> and I will see you next week. We're going to do Builders Club, so there won't be, there'll just be a book video for that one. But otherwise, stay safe, have fun. I will see you next time.